saying this makeup is not nini don't know what's up with my makeup hi people i hope you guys are doing fantastic it's another wednesday and as always every single wednesday it's hashtag girls talk and tonight we have a very interesting topic for you guys i hope you're able to engage with us down in the comment section because we are talking about our makeup in makeup kuna venye nini something wrong with your makeup you know sometimes you wear that beautiful uh, foundation powder but then it just doesn't work so we want to get in everything makeup and to add on to that we also have the accessories that bring makeup into conclusion and make it look beautiful and to help me do that is nyanduko nyabuto nyanduko 254 i still remember that nyabuto cuz nisha isema vibaya and i was in trouble <laughs> hi nyanduko <laughs> Hi Frida. Now it is it is a very interesting discussion and we're going to understand the difference between applying makeup and wearing makeup. Ah okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. You've come with the shorts. Ga umekuza. And our very amazing co-host Noreen Ambata. Hey Noreen, 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 where are you? Hey, Sasa. I'm sorry. Sasa naongea niko na gierere ya bibi ya chief. <laughs> and I don't know that my mic is muted. How are you doing? How are you doing, girls? We are fine. As we are doing. Sibina za sema the your makeup is on point both nyandu kwa. It has been me. It has been me. Team Nashoro. Kama mi si. Oh, is that part? By the way, natural and 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 makeup. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. You guys today I hope you got to pay experiences zenu na makeup but again remember hashtag #gastock hashtag #artinhat hashtag #tumehama because you're fully on YouTube the art in heart official all right so um we decided to do something uko backstage so let's take a look of what is happening with <laughs> our makeup non nini <laughs> take a look uh i feel like i should do blue what do you think Yeah, blue is okay. Huh? Blue is fine. You can try blue. Eh, yeah, let's see how it looks. Which other color? Which other color do I mix it with? Which other color? Try red. No, I'm wearing a blue dress. But now my lipstick is red. I think I, I have know. so many colors on my face. So red will look good. I can try red. Try red. Try, try red. red. Ah, maroon. What do you think of maroon? Yeah. I can try maroon, eh? Yeah? See. at the end right yep okay i i look like i don't look good at all i feel like i have so many colors on my face the lipstick the blue ah <laughs> <laughs> we all have such moments nyanduko <laughs> ever found um, yourself no, in no, that position <laughs> <laughs> First of all what you are doing in that video is called applying makeup which is not wearing makeup. When you wear uh -huh. makeup it is a thoughtful process. You think through it, you you mm -hmm. you picture the whole outfit plus the makeup. You don't just come and stick it somewhere in the middle of the dress code. At sasa now I have nimeva watch at uni pack I shadow and what not. Mm -hmm. I have had my fair share of those experiences and sometimes kio inaweza ikakudanganya. I don't know if it is just me. Sometimes mm -hmm. you look at yourself and you feel like I man e makeup e me weza. And mm -hmm. then you meet people and they're looking at you funny. There's a day I did foundation. It was it was when I was still learning how to do foundation. But they had uh -huh. that I myself I myself taught makeup artist. Now, um mm -hmm. so uh like I I applied foundation like a lot of foundation. The, I was enjoying the coverage that it was giving me and the, you know it was looking like hakuna kitu inabaki kwa so. Kumbe nilikuwa nimepaka kilo si 12 ya ya nini ya foundation and then I meet some chick she's like she was very blunt with me she told me ah yeah pana hii umeva that is too much foundation. I felt bad mm -hmm. but you know mm -hmm. that is I learned at the end of the day I was like kama huyu ame notice watu wangapi wameona na hawajamia. I know right? And and you mm. know I feel like sometimes when you're doing makeup and especially if you're in the house and your lighting is this kind of lighting you actually need to actually step out with your mirror mm -hmm. where there is normal natural lighting and have a look because mm -hmm. you could be walking out there and you're looking like a clown Noreen why do you wear makeup Do you wear no, makeup I think I should start with that do you wear makeup and if you let, do why Before 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 I get to that let me just react to the video that 
just played uh, a few a, a few a few seconds ago uh mm -hmm. the best part is when uh, you're asking the lady that is behind the cameras and uh she says okay she's agreeing to everything then later on unakuja unasema ai hata zikai vizuri okay why 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 were you asking in the first place and that's <laughs> that is us by the way we'll always ask how we look like then later on tazama ai hata sikai poa lakini no real very few people will give you an honest opinion very few people will tell you apana hapo kamechoma hapo kumeuma nje very few people and and, and you But, have to be on some level of friendship with this person yani yes. niko uko yeah. for them to mm -hmm. be comfortable to tell you hapo kame miss umebant kidogo because if someone you're not close how you react that, Hey, utareact mm -hmm. una, unaambia chana na mimi na una jam <laughs> <laughs> so uh, mm -hmm. now let me let me let me just respond to the question you asked freedom about mm -hmm. uh, do i wear makeup yes i do occasionally okay. all right okay so um, why okay nava makeup time ile nimejisikia when i feel like i want to and if i okay some people would would say when i'm going for an event or a wedding somewhere i must put on my makeup mimi if mm -hmm. i wake up and I decide leo kaende kaende it's frida's mm -hmm. wedding but uh, what are two let me just maintain maintain my natural my natural face mm -hmm. and maybe uh mm -hmm. because of the mask so it can is idea to feature bit more behind be, behind my mm -hmm. face so i hide a lot of things So the reason why Noreen wears makeup um I have very bad breakage and uh this mm -hmm. is this can be a reason to most ladies and we always want yeah. to hide we always want to hide pimples you know so mm -hmm. when you're going somewhere at least it boosts our confidence to some level you know so ah. when you're going to interact with people outside there at least uh pimples ako has your nekani people uh -huh. are not able to see your breakages especially after you you blended your makeup so well so when you go out mm -hmm. there you like mini popoa but now uh, the worst part comes when uh, you're going somewhere and you have very bad breakage and uh, there is nothing on you everything so is just up. off yeah yeah, yeah. you'll be if you've, behind if you struggle so, with yeah If you've struggled with acne, you know how badly if you do terrible makeup, if you know what terrible makeup means and you're struggling with acne, it makes it actually worse because people are looking at you and they're wondering, did you have to apply makeup? And in recent, you're trying to hide that. Like for me, most of the time and me starting to do makeup actually it was all because I had a very uh, sensitive skin. I used to have a lot of acne and breakouts every now and then, so I used to do a lot of makeup. So that could be another reason. Yeah, look. One reason why you wear makeup main reason why you wear makeup actually confidence and uh, i use my skin mm -hmm. as canvas i i i try okay. anything new i learn about makeup i try okay. it on myself first like i've told you there sometimes i do makeup on on people or my friends mostly and a few other people who want it so i try it on myself first and then i'm like i aka ka miss and if it's okay then it, i can go ahead and do it on someone else mm -hmm. uh, okay. i i have not had I've not had an experience with breakages so I have mm -hmm. really experimented trust me I have experimented <coughs> wow sorry I have experimented with makeup on my skin a lot mm -hmm. wow, that's interesting because uh, with, with, with that me, you can with that uh, with that me, you actually can try that let's get on to how did you know about makeup when and how did you get to know to get that point where you are like not really becoming a pro like you getting where you are right now but being able to do buying yourself like a foundation like a powder i like um what is it called i pencil mm -hmm. and when was this mm -hmm. first of all me i did not buy my very first first makeup i used to chota huko kwa nyumba i used to iba i find my mom's cutting i atiboro i still i find my mom's powder i keep for her vizuri i find my step sister's foundation i keep for her vizuri i find things and keep for you and remove but uh mm. the first the very first time i bought something that was mine was this you remember some some uh, powder that used to have foundation and powder at the same time and a camera and i shadow at the bottom it was maroonish in color i don't remember the name kulikuwa na rose leaf but did it have mm -hmm. a rose leaf there was yes rose leaf oh, rose leaf uh -huh. was the first i think everyone was that thing <laughs> was the first makeup set i bought for myself and mm -hmm. uh, i used to draw very outrageous eyebrows but we survived 
and <laughs> life has been going on and God has been good. But the Are people that let me walk around with those eyebrows, God is uh-huh. watching. God yeah, is watching. God is watching you guys. <laughs> yeah, remember the question we're asking you tonight is what's your worst experience when it comes to makeup? If you're a lady out there mm-hmm. and if actually you're a man who is watching us tonight, we want to hear what your worst experience with makeup on ladies. Because I know men have something. There are men who are like, you do you. Do all that makeup. There are those who are like, you know what? Just don't do a shadow. I don't like it. Don't do a red lipstick. I don't like it. So what has been your makeup worst experience? Tell us in the comment section. Now, Nori, now that you're back, what does, um, for you, makeup, is a typical Kenyan, what, what is that makeup for you? When you're applying, what is that make, what Your makeup bag, what does it have? Ask me about makeup. For me, makeup is only foundation, powder, uh, setting spray, <laughs> the makeup setting ah. spray. Um, mm-hmm. How do we call them? The, the eyeshadows, lipstick. I'm mm-hmm. done. So you contouring my face. Uh, I don't know. Uh, how do we call them? The blushes and stuff. Uh, so for me, uh, I just do the foundation part. I make sure my mm-hmm. brows are well done. Then mm-hmm. lipstick, a little lip- lipstick, and once in a while, eyeshadow. Mm-hmm. That's it. Eyeshadow. Then there is once a question in a while. that you asked. I want, I want, I want to, I want to that comment. That's not really, please, let me, allow me to comment. Your eyebrows are always on fleek. Just, just to put mm-hmm. it out there. Your eyebrows are always I need, I need to start fleek. looking like at them keenly. <laughs> Because that is one thing my like friend, if you miss, if you miss on your eye, if they decide to divorce, you're done. Your face just looks terrible. So, but Nyanduko, you know, what is yeah. in your... Uh-huh. Okay, now read Sawa. Unaswali unko jibu. Eh, unaswali likuwa ni jibu, so ni likuwa uko nyuma ni kingangana. But, okay, I have to respond to this. Ati, how did I get to know about uh, makeup? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, for me, makeup... Ilikuwa, maybe I meet Nyanduko. Let me use Nyanduko as an example. I meet Nyanduko in town. Nashanga, I put him. Ini uri yote tu ni urembo. Like, is this is this her? So, uh, no. I used to go back, back, back home. <laughs> Najaribu nangalia. Okay. Uh, the only thing that I need to do to my face, nizi ma, uh, we call them pounds, right? The powders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nenda na apply yingi. Nakani kama, nakani, okay, I don't know, I don't know how to describe myself at that mm-hmm. point. Lakini ni wanaka, ni wanaka funny. So, after applying that, a lot of, a lot of powder, I go back, uh, I, I go back to see how Nyanduko looks like on social media. I'm like, hey, there, there must be something very different. So, I meet That's someone. Eh, na kutana mtu mwengine, na sema, okay, uh, this one, inakaka matope. Where can I find this thing that looks like clay so that I can apply on my face? So for me to know what a foundation is, it took me uh-huh. ages, my friend. I never used to do a lot of research about uh, makeups and stuff, how I can how I can go about my face. You know, all, all that while, the only thing I used to know was... Uh, mm-hmm. you but you know, this, this, this foundation thing, Noreen, I, I, I don't think it was the first thing that started. I'm a sissy when we got to know about makeup, really, foundation wasn't a thing. It was just do powder because when you, I remember in high school, which I hope you guys would be able to tell me, I remember in high school, uh, Gioni, because it was a sunny place, you you have an oily face, we'll go and get the chalk, chalk, dust, uh, chalk dust and just part your face like this and you're like whitish or something. And you walk. You're like, <laughs> feel wait, wait, wait. You are talking about. You are talking about. Mimi nilikuwa naenda kuchukua. How do we call this? Unga. I used to apply oh. flour on my face. <laughs> wait, I, I tell you. Let, let me tell you the whitish thing. How have mm-hmm. you all forgotten about we are in love? How? <laughs> the lovely was 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 what followed now. You know, fair and lovely. First of all, it was expensive in high school. For me, it was expensive. I was not able to afford it. So before you get there, and I remember there's like this lady who came with a big one. I was like, hey, una afford it. So I used to borrow una wake a dog, una jipak, and then it used to smell badly. Hi, it's terrible. Smell. 
<laughs> then after that now we went now you took a transition now to powders after the chalk and all that but anyway guys uh before we we get to the short break let's talk about society and how society views makeup nyanduko first of all you think- when when you do makeup you are viewed as a bad girl like una katu rui you look like wewe nikamtuka nyanduka especially uko ushago kwetu if you go to to my homeland and you've done you've done your face like this they will judge you first of all and another thing by the way uh my religion does not does not really welcome makeup so i don't do makeup when i'm going to church that's that's a that's a whole another mm-hmm. thing and you know you get the whole argument that you are a different person when you come to church you are not done your makeup during the week you've done it but sometimes the makeup we do not do it to for people personally i do not do makeup for a person I, that is mm-hmm. why i will wake up one day in my house and decide today i am wearing makeup i wake up i'm not going anywhere i do makeup i do tiktok and i wash it ah. off or i oh, stay okay. with it hey. you do happens. tiktok that's so okay I, but uh, would you just you find your makeup and then you just sit there and be like you know what today i just want to look good and you're not shooting any content do you do that yes. you do, wow, yes. wow. Yes. a lot of times like i wake up Frida, let me tell you something. You, you, you did not ask me the question. No, I'm asking myself. Today I've decided to be a politician. If uh, I wake up, I first of all, that's after I I do my my routine in the morning. I I get my rose water. I get my the serum and whatnot, and I wash my face properly. And after that, I decide: Am I doing my eyebrows? Should I do uh-huh. them? And if, I, and if I'm feeling like I need to, after coming nine I'm cutte. I will draw them. probably change my outfit you, you should encounter me and then go wow mm. that's interesting you know yeah, you do makeup do you just do your face and stay in the house frida one thing that yeah. uh, we really need to know is that uh, we are ladies and uh, we are at a point where we really need to love ourselves so it doesn't mm-hmm. matter where you are if mm-hmm. it doesn't matter if you're going somewhere or not So mm-hmm. if you wake up in the morning and you decide today I want to look good na nashinda kwa nyumba nikiosha mavyombo nikipanguza mm-hmm. nyumba I'll, I'll clean my house when I'm wearing my makeup You know wow. I will wash those dishes I'm not, when I, my makeup is on Una ke I'm not sure I can when do that I decided That is when okay. I have decided you know So there okay. are times there are okay. times you feel like hey this thing is too heavy on me I don't yeah. think I have that time I just want to be to be lazy in the house or 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 mm-hmm. rather I just want to be lazy to do my makeup even as I'm going mm-hmm. out you know mm-hmm. so there are times you yeah. feel like hey, I need to look good una feel to mgeni anaweza tokea by the way our our so you see, way to you see now, Noreen, you see we've already <laughs> gone to mgeni anaweza tokea I don't know what people are saying in the comment section but the moment you know you diverted from I was just in the house and someone anaweza tokea me mgeni anaweza tokea Uh, yeah, have, is yeah there's that disconnect for me i have an issue uh with just staying with makeup in the house because makeup just makes me so uncomfortable in the house for some reason i just want to breathe i just want my skin to be out there so andy jacqueline aj says watching from germany thank you so much andy thank you for watching and karibu sana here sharon rosie baby hi baby watching from keroka moto yes 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 baby thank you so much for watching all the way from keroka that place is fun you were working in nyanduko by the way <laughs> uh milton karani is watching you don't ask uh, you uh, 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 hey <laughs> watching <laughs> from Kasani Nairobi County Kasarani I think that's what um Karani meant Kasani Nairobi County karibu sana thank you for watching my says hey hey mna mambo kina dada ai nakwambia tunayo mengi makomera gilba six speaking lessons for my neighbor nakomera we need to bring your neighbor god is again at nyanduko a lady will ask you how they look but will expect a pre- predetermined answer ukisema something yeah. contrary without mm. a motto that's <laughs> true, that's <laughs> <laughs> but i feel like uh makeup could be different but we'll talk about that watching from homa bay that is uh gamanet shadrack thank you so much shadrack for joining and karibu sana onyango justin said hi guys hi to you too justin and thank you for joining all right um <laughs> nancy magen karibu sana as always nancy is here some ladies look great with no makeup at all i agree sadly i'm not one of them <laughs> 
<laughs> that is what you call <laughs> accepting. <laughs> and and I feel I feel like before I finish this, Quinta River says very true. I do that too. Make up and I just stay home, feeling good in my spirit. Wow, that's interesting. Probably something I need to learn. Eli Likuyani, you and your sababu wa mama uko nyumbani wear some strange headgears because of religion. Wananuka kitungu and they can't sin against their church. I hear their churches who have an issue with makeup, especially that pop yeah. makeup, like high yeah. shadow yeah. and all that. Yeah. Just scratch a two for saying, ni karibisho. Karibu sana DJ Scratcher. Karibu sana makopi ya DJ Scratcher. A special shout out to Scratcher. You're doing an amazing job. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Shout out to All right. That is which happens to cheese music. Yes. Yes, very mm-hmm. soon. So let's take a very short break. I don't know whether any you have the other clip of Frida. We could play it as we get back. If not, we move on. But let's take a short break. We'll be right back. In as much as we are praying and we want God to do things, it has to be according to his will, not according to our wills. Because you know, sometimes we want God to do things for us. We want him, for example, to get out of a situation yet. Maybe God is teaching us something in that situation. Let me, let me just take us a bit back. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24, the Bible says, Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. That means God hears. And even before we start praying, God has answered. The thing is, in as much as God has hidden many things, not from us, but for us, oh, the okay. question is, <laughs> are we praying? All right, that is worship night. Guys, we normally have worship night uh, once in a month, actually. So that, that will be happening on 3rd of December. Uh, so make sure to join in. That's Pastor Tindi. Please, in a kwanga moto. Lihau kind of yeah. good music, so you don't want to miss on that. That of December, we are back, Noreen. And and uh, as we talk about makeup, and this makeup is not mean, I want us to talk about real and fake makeup because they exist there. And we've had people who've really have gone through a lot. I, I listened to Diana Maro some time back talking about the things that happen to her face because she applied yeah, fake yeah. makeup, like Alikwa Mefura and all those things. How do you differentiate fake and real makeup? Is it real, fake, and original? The one is original, I think. Fake and original makeup, no real. Okay, where where I sit right now, maybe mm-hmm. whatever I'm going to say, I'm not a makeup artist, and uh, maybe I'm okay. not, I may not be in a position sure, to sure, sure. say mm-hmm. to differentiate between a fake one and an mm-hmm. original one. But again, mm-hmm. it depends with where you're buying mm-hmm. from. Maybe when you go okay. to to the the fake ones, you go to streets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, for some reasons, I just view them as fake. Because, okay. okay. mm. so again, you have to mm. dust it before you mm. go wear it, you know. So mm. for me, I view okay. that as um as fake, as a fake one, you know. So, uh, that, yeah, when I go mm-hmm. to places like uh, there's for, for some reasons, I've used, I've used makeup that is not here. Like, mm. I always get people to bless me with make who blesses me with makeup from different wow. places. So, I've never mm-hmm. gone to a shop at Isasa Nataka Kubai Foundation okay. in Kenya. Okay, that's wow. a privilege. That, you know, a friend is asking, by then, Noreen, neza kukuletea nini kutoka huku? And surprisingly enough, it is mm-hmm. foundation. So ah, for me now, okay. Now, okay, we have that assumption that if you may talk a place flan, is on the is on mm. is on the is on the is on the river road. But it's known for fake makeup. But I feel and, this and is you, what I feel, yeah. This, mm-hmm. this is what I feel, Noreen. As much as we are looking in terms of, because I could I could be selling original makeup, but my my yeah. shop is set up on the street, you know. But I'm selling real makeup, original makeup. So I feel like when you have fake makeup also and you wear like a foundation, there's just a way it just doesn't blend the same way when you have original <laughs> makeup. Because when it's original, it means that the things that have been used, the ingredients think- to make this foundation is really mm-hmm. good. But now, if it's just some mikorobo in oko, and then now you have to apply this, it's just a way. When two people are seated here with uh, mm-hmm. Huda's call, whatever foundation, the same Huda fake one, you can tell mm-hmm. there's a difference here because, you know, there's a lot going on. Yanduko, <laughs> what's your experience yes, with you makeup? Tell. Oh, okay. Um, I have bought knockoff makeup before. It is, it is, I've not bought it because I wanted to. I've bought it because someone lied to me that it was the correct thing. 
I am very particular with the kind of foundation I use. I do not want to do uh, brand promotions here, but I'm very particular with, with the kind of makeup that I use. I don't just, I first I don't buy makeup on the street. I buy makeup at a shop. I do not, mm-hmm. I do not like buying things from the street because you will end up buying very strange things. And you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's a lot to, to deal with. Uh, another mm-hmm. thing, cheap is expensive. I always say this, yeah. and this applies to your makeup. So if you want to mm-hmm. go and buy foundation, okay, maybe there's a tattoo that is a good quality. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not speaking against yeah, people yeah. who buy that. If you want to go and buy makeup that is, you know, cheap, mm-hmm. be sure it is going to give you problems. It is not going to blend. It is going to give you yeah. troubles. And um, another thing, Frida, I, now I'm throwing a question at you. I know you're the host, but I'm, I'm throwing a question at you. How do you mm-hmm. know your shade of foundation? And this goes to the both of you. How do you know? How oh, do you know your shade of foundation? I think for I. How did I get to know? Because I use one um, one brand of foundation. I never really changed. So by now, I already know what that shade is. It has a name. So, but before, how did I get to know this? I have tried, my friend. I have done different things on my face where you're doing this shade and then you're walking and you can feel your neck is different from actually your face. There's <laughs> a time I I bought a foundation worth. 2800 and it was darker than me it was like when i walked to that shop they were like eh, i want i wanted the dark i was like i'm dark i just want a dark foundation and they gave me the darkest mm-hmm. you know and i went yeah, there yeah. applied and you could tell i look black here and you know Wuku Kwashingo is different like mm-hmm. corner is different so mm-hmm. i think most people really experiment but if you're lucky enough to be able to walk into a shop where they have you're buying, you know, those high-end makeup where they have now testers, then you can test and definitely they'll tell you that this is what fits you. But where that's do you how test? I got to do Where do you test your makeup? Oh. Where do you test your foundation? In terms of uh, the place, my cheek or something. Um, mm-hmm. Noreen? Uh, I, I test my foundation here. Up up on that's wow. the foundation. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. If you want, yeah. If you want to get the correct shade of foundation, try it here. Not on your yeah. face. The face will not give Why? you your actual color. First of all, Frida, your face, uh, I'm assuming everyone else's face has, I don't know, it is It is mostly brighter, a little bit brighter than, yeah. Uh, yes. yeah, it is mostly a little bit brighter. So you'll buy foundation yeah. that is light and then it will not match. But mm-hmm. here matches with here and everywhere else. Most times, ah, if you're not... That's a good then Hey, I need to check that. I think I should do my foundation tomorrow and see whether it matches with this part of my hand. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Uh, what's okay. your worst makeup experience? Guys, remember, this is a question we're asking tonight. What's your worst makeup experience? So tell us in the comment section. Nyorin, what is that one thing that it could have been you that you probably did some weird makeup or something? Or it may be your experience with someone else. So what was that experience? Um, I'm telling you, for me to be where I am right now, ni mungu, ni yesu. <laughs> Because, my God, uh, yeah. <laughs> During my first time of applying makeup, that one I used to mm-hmm. just apply. Bora ni mechapa chapa hapa na hapa. You go somewhere mm-hmm. and this part is totally different from your face. Mm-hmm. So okay. your face is so brown. Like ni piangali wako shingo na janga wa ni watu wili tofauti or it's still the same. People think we may bleach. Yeah, and you know Frida. I rejoined as you continue no, it got to a point where I, I had mm-hmm. that problem as well. Okay, the lens mm-hmm. was scarves. I was not wearing scarves because I love them. I was wearing them because I had not figured out my foundation. Why is it not me? 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 Why is it until uh, someone, a guardian angel, came and told me, babes, what you're doing wrong is just the foundation. The foundation. So if you figure it out, yeah. you're good. Mm. Good to go. All right, so, Noreen. Uh, uh-huh. let, me, let me continue with my worst experience with, um, with, this, uh, with this makeup thing. So uh, I can say I go, I go to places where I meet different people who definitely know how to do their makeup. They really know mm-hmm. how to put on makeup. So, me ni kwaapo and uh, you know, when you tunajichocha, when you madam tunajichocha, leo kuna ile shere and we are going there. So I'm looking so off. Like 
my face like my makeup is not blended kwanza at first i used to use that ka sponge that is used to apply powder on my face i didn't i, I didn't know about the about the uh, how do we call how do we call it the beauty blender right i didn't know about mm -hmm. it so you could have to about beauty blender later on hey so i'm there applying my i'm applying the foundation right now with that ka sponge na kv so we have the patches hapa kuna patch ya brown hapa ni hapa sasa ni uso yangu mimi mwenyewe there is a black something here and my face my nose is different so i'm one person with different shades and i'm going to an event yeah, where i'm imagine. supposed to talk to people and people are looking at you oh my god it was an embarrassment they're and looking I'm at your makeup they're actually not even looking at you they're just looking at your exactly. makeup and they're 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 makeup and draw attention <laughs> to yourself attention that you do not need like it draws too yeah. much attention to your face you're feeling embarrassed you're like why did i do this makeup me i've had a scenario where i've had to wipe it off by the way i'm like yo i i just Damn. can't i can't i just went to wash it out and i was like you know you're talking about that But have you ever gone to a place where uh you haven't walked with uh, something like wet wipes or no one mm -hmm. around you have the white white wipe uh, the the wet wipes then there is no maybe um washrooms una get but you can go just wash it off you deal with your decisions you live with your decisions the whole day you're like this is my choice i made this choice <laughs> let me <laughs> borrow <laughs> myself <laughs> Hey, have I'm you ever have you ever guys that. have you ever gone and hugged and and this is let, let's get into the una hug um say a man and then you leave makeup kwa shati yake Mimi I like I told you before I've never had like I I, I hardly leave foundation on a person guess what I left I left my one eyebrow on someone's shirt <laughs> and now I have one and you don't know You don't know that you have one that's a problem. So you know if you know you have one you could wipe the other one but now you don't know you just I see. You know I have very few I have like very few brows naturally. They're like kidogo sana and then I usually like uh -huh. uh, like micro like, blade them. So they are very few mm -hmm. normally. Sasa imepanguzika yote it is very conspicuous that this girl has one eyebrow and now I'm looking funny I'm looking like a clown and no one is telling me because people first of all they are scared I must do what is yeah. going on. Yes. Now, until yes. I find a washroom and I'm like, wow, what? pirate of the Caribbean. How long has this been going on? <laughs> and then now you're trying to to think back to when did this happen so that you can yeah. imagine how many people you walked and seen and met. Yeah, For me I just told, and, and I told you you look good. Did you like thank you? Thank you. But you no, don't no, even no. have an idea. <laughs> What okay, is for me there was a time, Marin. there was a time um we were having uh, some events in church it was a very big event where mm -hmm. other people were being invited from churches like uh, from other mm -hmm. different churches mm -hmm. so this was a, an event that was uh, we were hosting uh, youth from other churches so unajua mm -hmm. when people can come to church and what were na cladi and stuff so everyone wants to look good na get So at that mm -hmm. moment men decide we are wearing white and black. And in our church we have that culture of hi I have missed you come and say hi to me. And you know oh. during those days we used to hug a lot. We used to hug a lot B before corona before corona mm. hit, you know. So hugging was not a problem. Imagine uh that time I never used to know how to do uh, or I, I didn't know about the foundation thing. So that time the only thing I used to do ni uh apply pores and I used to have a oh, lot of it on my face and no one was telling me about it you know when in church unaka funny like unaka umeparara like you you kuparara you meparara ni kiujinga tu kiumala mala you understand what I'm talking about so you're there and you're hugging you're hugging guys na kwambie niliacha niliacha hiyo nini yote that that Apple powder also, all of it oh, but not also kwashatia white kwashatia white all of it there the good thing is this guy wasn't dating like ile nyaneza as anezaenda mahali aseme ambiwe but you also want to know you have to find someone you have ruined someone they and they have they have a whole day to walk with that child and imagine it was in the morning No, wow, that's that. 
and this what I remember someone actually today we are really talking about each other but it is because we're talking about something close to our heart now have you ever met someone i'm a paka uh foundation hacker now i'm giving you a hack that i i learned from a very from someone who does their makeup very well when you're doing your foundation just keep mm-hmm. this part do not when you're like placing foundation on your face usi weke hapa dots unajua vinyo unaikanga alafu unaanza ku blend just put it everywhere else blend it alafu you use the brush ama beauty blender to huku juu do not so you find someone they put foundation here aishi haiendi it is not moving it is and then you put powder on top so inakaa kama a cracked heel inaanza kuchora ama kitu hapa you put it inaanza Yeah, you mean you sit and you look at someone like this and you're like god yeah. the day i find my yeah. looking like this and, and the and funny thing you know is when, when, when you're sitting mm, when you're sitting with someone who has that cracked forehead you tend to see that you tend your mind just focuses on that but this is what i feel yeah. if if you're not sure about your foundation if you're using some really good foundation it's very hard for it to transfer to someone but if you're not so sure, sure about it please when you're hugging yeah. people hug them and just tap your face to their face not their their outfit i've learned that like be up here you go up at you that you don't have to they you don't have to hug people to that you just tell them i my, i have to look good for the rest of the day so i'm not going to tamper with my makeup so <laughs> yeah just say i'm going to do this do this you share with those mamas who are like hi Hey, 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 I had a very hard time explaining to Bay who I was kissing yet I was innocent I know right you have to explain yeah. why, why do you have na- why who keep Roda <laughs> says chronicles the makeup I know right there are so many and the things are happening out here uh, Jojo Sara yeah. karibu sana Sara oh. learning yeah keep learning keep learning that, Sara and that, share share what happened here You mm-hmm. put a foundation here it refuses to move mm-hmm. and then you you ongeze a gel on top of your laying your head <laughs> <laughs> and by the way there's also this thing where now after you've applied probably you did your hair nicely mafuta imepita umepaka inaitwa nini gel styling gel yeah so your your baby mm-hmm. hairs are and then you paka your foundation and Same then they just follow yes dina fuata your baby hair please make sure you take something something wet or uh, soft and just wipe Anyway, um I want to ask you guys something. What is extreme makeup for you? What is that when you find someone you're like, oh, I think that's too much. That's just too much. What is extreme makeup for you, Noreen? Okay, when something is too much is too much. You know, when I just like look what? at you know, now, you're all okay. I'm sorry to use this, but uh, your face look all sweaty. Like badala ya kumwaga sweat sweat, wewe unamwaga makeup. And that's why I came to use the word tiririka. Lakini nyandu why are you so keen with what I'm saying? Can you just no, no, I, I, just, I just want to understand. I just want to understand. All right. So, <laughs> and, and, so when, uh-huh. uh, when 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 you reach at a place where you're sweating and uh, something that is coming down it it is actually your makeup. Mimi yeah. for me that is a lot of makeup you know a lot that's of a makeup. lot oh. and it has happened to me before i used mm-hmm. to apply a lot of foundation a lot of foundation because uko ndani ya nyumba maybe you're using uh, your mirror inside your house and it's in the bathroom where there is no n- enough natural lighting you know yeah, yeah and true. you're using maybe you're using just the the normal lighting the the, the artificial lighting you get okay. yeah so the mirror yeah. keeps on lying to you that apple ujenka vizuri unaona ukiongeza vizuri itakapoa so unaongeza you keep on adding so you keep on adding without knowing by the time you're leaving the house and already mm-hmm. you're in a mat unapanda mat and everyone is looking at you like hey girl when did you have to do all these things you know was so it necessary me, what i do what i do nowadays i just apply a very a pinch like in each corner here 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 and the nose so kidogo sana and that's okay so 
I'll make sure that my beauty blender blends everything that is on my face to reach all the parts of my face. So that no, it, I, that that I do not appear like uh, it, uh, it's a, a lot clump. of on my face. Yeah. yeah Nduko, so that, what's your lot of, what is that extreme makeup for you? Now, Doreen has already said the excessive foundation. I'm going to talk about, I honestly have no, I have nothing against people who do multicolored uh, eye, eye shadow. But if uh -huh. you're doing like a pop in yellow here, an orange here, a green here, I, I don't know, it's it's a little bit extra for Too me. Much. And I have, I, I really, sometimes I find myself staring at people who wear the long lashes. Oh, like, hey. I just can't. I, they, take, like, they take all my attention. <laughs> I have tried lashes, Frida, and I am telling you for free. Usiweke lashes now, and Ludi. Take this from someone who has tried it firsthand. Because, and first of all, those things are not comfortable. I don't know if it is just me, but they're not comfortable. I don't it's know just how people work with them. them. You now another one. You want to sleep, and man, it is too much work. It's too much. And the first time actually did uh, lashes for me. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You go ahead. The first time, the first time I did lashes for me were not the ones that you. They, they were the ones that are put one by one, a piece and a piece. They are joined until now. You know, mm -hmm. my friend. I don't know mm -hmm. what glue they use, or I don't know whether it's my eyes that have allergy to the glue or something. I cried the whole journey from. It was gone all the way to Moja. I was crying. Nilifika nikatoa. Nilizitoa moja moja. So I don't. It, I don't know whether these things are very uncomfortable or is it just me, like Nyanduko says, because I don't find them comfortable at all. They're so so uncomfortable, and we need to take and a very that, short break. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we take a short break. As we get back, we want us to get into the cosmetic and um, you know, uh, found not foundation makeup industry, and let's talk about money on this sector, and also makeup and kids my goodness let's take a short break we'll be right back in a few timing is most important one minute is enough every other thing that you're demanding for <laughs> that is on you uh your expectations are yours number two number two there's a very there's a i have a very amazing and deep friend of mine is called ed ed he's also a friend on facebook you guys can check him out and uh one post that he made which i'm sure he wouldn't mind me sharing here was number one you cannot both as a man and a woman you cannot go out there adultering and sleeping with everybody that you meet out there then you come with the experience of adultery and fornication and peg it on someone else to fulfill your libidos mm. uh Indeed. based on your fornication mm. you get it so Brother, may you, you live to uh, day. You, ca you cannot you, ca <laughs> you cannot you cannot have uh, you cannot have a man who has just been maybe with two women and uh, you know he's just getting on with it and he's he's keen to keep one woman then you've slept with a multitude of uh, men out there and you're coming and you're demanding a whole night of marrying i mean that one is not owed to anybody tonight we are talking about this makeup is not nini <laughs> I know most of you are wondering, like, Mona, Mona, eat topic need this makeup is not need. We all know, girls, you all know. We all go to the mirror and we're like, Mona, eat makeup I need. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not need. But my focus is now on my eyebrows. When you look at my eyebrows, my two eyebrows, there is a difference. This one is different from this one, right? Yeah, they are different. So when. Um, when the makeup thing was being introduced, and now uh, to come up now, so in our eyebrows now to the I need to look better. So the eyebrows they have to be on point. So we started with like a very thin line uh, to do our makeup. So we used to draw a very thin line, and those days we used uh, we were using the black eye pencils. <laughs> The black eye pencil, so you all know where we come from. So we used to draw like a very thin line here to nature, nature in a picture So when you go to social media, like ah, uh, why is Rihanna's eyebrow like this, and why can't mine be like that? So we kept on, we kept on trying, trying. Okay, not me. I kept on trying, 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 trying. So until Nikanza kuchora eyebrows, we kumbu kan kona chora na black. I was looking terrible. 
before we get into Noreen's experience of eyebrows, Noreen, I'm coming to you. Let's talk about, uh, let's get back to the clip of insecurities, guys. What you saw a shooty talk about insecurities, mm-hmm. timing is everything. That's men's then. So if you don't know, every single Tuesday we have men's then, and they bring amazing stuff. If you're a man here, you need to join. If you're a lady here, every Tuesday, 9.30, mm-hmm. join men's then. A shooty, Gilbert, uh, Eli Likuyan, oh, African man. James, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Noreen, umesema tumwage nini. Anyway, Noreen, putting on my way to Lodo. <laughs> Noreen, oh my goodness, mm. your eyebrows were looking weird. Uh, keep her on saying, simpake tu, mascara na lip gloss. Actually, that's minimum, you know, bare minimum when it comes to makeup. So, uh, Sarah George says, mnaongelea foundation is gani? Ya nyuma ama? Ya nyumba ama? Heli Lukiani decided to tell Sarah, foundations iko hapa ni mapenzi ya kipara na fast flow. Utawezana, Sarah. Utawezana kweli. <laughs> Kipra Rida saying, sasa mpake makeup alafu wende date. Asubui washe uso. Oh my goodness. Guy. Na ujatendeo na kiti yako. Ah. Heli <laughs> Lukiani says, eh, hey, Tinorin, umetoka kwa u- ugaindi. Ber- eh? Okay, that just oh. skipped me. This Vera. <laughs> oh, Bera. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, I, I had that. Bera. I had that. 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 I had Yes, yes. You're taking us back so to this... the history of eyebrows, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. You people, like, you all know the, the lines we used to make. Hey. We, we all know. Akuna mtu asha ikosa kufanya hiyo line. Nyandugo, you cannot lie to me. You just woke up in the morning. Really? I am not lying. No, I am not lying. Mimi nilianza na nono. For some strange reason, I don't know why. Mimi siku waza na hiyo line. Nilianza na kikitu kia black, kinono, kieusi, kibaya. Kitu kabaya. Kieusi, kibitu. Kibaya. Then there are those who used to draw hard in a pita. Mali, in a pita uku. In a pita uku. Inakuja huku and then you look like something is really off. You know. So guys, I want us to talk about, have you ever seen a kagal, a small kagal, two years, one year old, amepakwa eyeshadow, amepakwa nini ya black, that thing, what is it called? Amechora eyebrows na pencil ya black. Have you guys experienced that? Mtoi? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I have, I've, I've have seen have okay. okay, yes, sorry. Okay, I've seen, I've not seen uh, a kagal, a very small girl, uh, maybe applying the, okay, doing their eyebrows, apart from, apart from these other things. So when you get to children with makeup, then I'll talk about other things apart from the. Just get to it, Nori, just get to okay, it. What are the other things? So I have, yeah. I have, I have, um, I have a cousin who is, um, not, uh, yeah, a cousin who is now eight years old. Mm-hmm. Actually, this girl loves anything to do with makeup. You know, mm-hmm. anytime I visit her, she's like, uh, Noreen, I want you to buy for me um, eyeshadow. I want this color. And she's very, she's very, she's very specific with the colors that she'd want on her face. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. and one interesting thing about, about her, okay, in their schools, in their school, they allow them to go with anything. You know, they can wear makeup. Uh, including makeup. makeup. Yes, they can decide on what to like on how they want to look like when they go to school. Because wow. I think you know the, the, the thing with international schools. So this 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 lady, uh there was a time I used to be there and um she really she really used to come where okay in my bedroom and now take take my things, take my stuff, apply on her face and maybe I'm out of the house and she does all the, those things to her. Goes back to the dad and she's like, Dad, how do I look? And I'm doing talk up and oh. uso. You look so horrible, you know. But with time right mm-hmm. now, like it's something that it's just in her. And she looks really beautiful when she does her makeup, you know. And that's she can that's really go that's... to school with. Yeah, she's eight years now, old right now. That I, I have an issue with the age though. I don't think mm-hmm. I'll have my daughter at eight year old really doing makeup. Anyanduko, what's your take um, on that? Um, first of all, first of all, the products that we put on our face are just a little bit too harsh for a baby's yes. skin. And yes. and being being a child, unless there is child friendly makeup that I don't know about, mm-hmm. um, it is 
those products are a bit too harsh on their skin and uh, uh, like i'd rather a kid just grows up first and you know they get their mature skin first before you said and sometimes you know sometimes we ruin our skin most of us actually we go to this point of doing makeup because we decided to start doing makeup a little bit earlier mm-hmm. and it's it's mm-hmm. some it's tempered with with the you know the original structure of our skin and now we have to keep mm-hmm. doing it like once you start I, i'd rather you you like uh enlighten this child and inform them that once you start it is going mm-hmm. to be a little bit hard to stop and you know now that their skin is still young and it is growing and developing they'd rather just just be a kid for now unless mm-hmm. there is child friendly makeup if there is child friendly makeup then well and good but mm-hmm. if okay. and, and this may sure uh, have one this the models uh, mm-hmm. i mean with these children models who like when i offer you a makeup i honestly think like, like children are naturally adorable they're naturally beautiful yeah, yeah they're naturally beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. hey you don't need to do all that on a child for them to for for them to pop and, or not lip gloss you know what was here yeah. is okay yeah the stream of eye shadow lashes on a baby uh, i have an issue with it not about lashes but again uh, this is something that uh, most parents are not allowing their kids to be kids you know during our times our parents really allowed us to be children mm. which did. is very okay because yes. right now look at our right huh? now the generation right now they are not allowing their children to be children right now you know they are already mm. introduced to this stuff and when they are doing it ah, it's okay it's okay you look good. and then i feel i What feel like i buy for you yeah mm-hmm. i feel like when you're when you're teaching your kids so early to do makeup I, i don't know what you're trying to communicate i feel like you're telling this kid you can only look good when you have makeup i feel like yeah, they might not makeup. really you know when you grow up and you're doing makeup for you you're doing because you know why you're doing it it could be probably yeah. you have to be on screen and you have to have makeup on or probably you have mm-hmm. acne you're trying to cover up so people don't go looking at your pimples and asking you eh ulifanya nini uso but as a kid what mm-hmm. are you tra- what are you trying to communicate to this baby that for you to really mm-hmm. look good you need lipstick for you to look good you need foundation i feel like she might grow thinking for me to really be beautiful i actually need this mm-hmm. anyway guys mm-hmm. that aside let's get on to the to the cosmetic mm-hmm. and 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 makeup industry and it's one of the biggest and largest and it's growing at a very fast rate in terms of you know mm-hmm. everyone is getting into it like luangalia river road ama kuna ito aji uko how many people are selling stuff there one door to the next door to the next door it's makeup cosmetics wigs all those things nyanduko would you okay. invest in such an industry would you personally no okay no no because no because um i i honestly think like if i had to i would like bring products that i would use on myself i'll bring like very good quality product you yeah. know mm-hmm. and uh not very many people want quality product quality people want no for whether they don't and want they, or they, they can't afford afford they can't afford uh, they can't afford mm-hmm. it so probably you cannot compete with the market as is right now like the market mm-hmm. is set in a way that people have these things they go to like they they know no cops i i saw a video of someone saying e ni fake lakini ni mzuri like people even know the the good fake ones you know so yes. it is a, it is not a very a very good industry in the, like it is not a very easy industry to get into and actually conquer and get uh-huh. your niche you know and uh, mm-hmm. i i also think i would probably it a cooler stock so <laughs> i think <laughs> but how much of stock can you eat anyway norin how much is your foundation it's it's, it's expensive <laughs> how much is your foundation expensive is okay. relative the foundation, what you call the foundation that i'm the foundation that i'm using right now is 2800 shillings okay kenyan ah, okay. shillings yes do, I, so, I, do you uh, feel I, like I that's, the bare, that's the bare me- when it comes to foundation it ranges between 2000 going to 4 5000 i've seen people's foundation no, I, for 8k let me let me tell you mine, mine is 5500 and it's it's Ooh. 20 But, oh, uh, okay. but i don't we buy it for willy because man it's 5500 so we buy it for willy and then we split we gawa ah okay but how long does it last how long how long does that it foundation last in a car that thing that thing yes. can go two three months yeah in as a car is it chat safi wow that yeah, actually yeah. i feel like if you do the math of of buying fake I, i don't want to use the fake but fake from uh, our foundation and yeah, the other one let's not use fake no. let's use affordable <laughs> affordable counterfeit whatever no. that word 
Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. So you find that you buy that it lasts you a month. You go back. Probably you bought it at three hundred. Go back, buy another one for three hundred after one month. Go back, and before you know it, you've already spent the six k and all that. But anyway, um, I feel like it's an uh, industry that is really so many people are making money from it. Not even before I come to you, so many people are making money from you know this cosmetic and makeup industry. I feel like there's there's money in it. Uh, if you invest really well, and if you're I don't know if you're if you're ready to just Tell people, hey, ini mzuri chukua, even when you know. <laughs> Just stand on the good. highway and tell people, Madam Lipstick. Ma- ma- madam, eh, Madam, Madam, <laughs> madam Ngozi. Madam, tunakupea Ngozi mpia. It's too much work hey. for me. Nori, no, Nori, no, you want uh, to say? What I can say about this business, huh? um, mm-hmm. one thing that everyone should know, okay, that we also know, mm-hmm. if you start selling anything that... Uh, that revolves around ladies pesa mm-hmm. utapata will get money uh-huh. you know mm-hmm. and uh one thing that uh i've also one business that i've done and i used to sell quality i used to sell quality uh foundation from mm-hmm. uh, okay uh, a company okay i i'll not mention I, i'll not mention the company but quality foundations and they used to go at 2500 shillings do you know mm-hmm. nearly like two ladies only two ladies what I promote na hiyo biz peke yake the reason <laughs> being aki yako iko too expensive wacha sijio kwa nani wacha nende ni packet huko you know exactly. some people will always mm-hmm. want to look for something that is very mm-hmm. very cheap or okay, very pocket friendly to them but again mm-hmm. it will cost them Una yeah later i, to, I mean it has I, I, tried, i tried that foundation on me I'm telling you ilikuwa like ukieka even I go uh, for swimming I go inatoka I go inatoka you may speak vizuri all right also not by it maybe maybe I was for. selling to the wrong market let me yeah. say yeah I, I think uh when you again when you focus on on you selling a quality of course you need to understand that also you're selling to very few margin especially Kenyans so you can't be there saying I want to sell 100 and you're selling 25 you've got to figure out that i'm going to sell to five but i'm going to sell to 10 or 30 or 20 you know uh before we i'm coming back to you guys and i want us to finish up as you tell me any experience you've had with men and makeup ever seen a man apply makeup if you've a man here please tell me ele lukiani says no rina bata niliuliza swali suruali na eh niliu niliuza suruali na bra wakakataa kununua the ones that got took them kwa deni and never paid to date ladies and business ni busy hey Ladies, hey, I feel like we buy we are impulse buyers man we walk buying stuff we don't really buy really a bra we really buy affordable stuff we walk buying cheap stuff affordable stuff we walk buying yeah. it was 50 50 30 40 100 mm. 200 we don't walk around buying it was 1000 we don't mm. we don't by mm. the end when you hear that batty that's when you turn ukisikia so that's when you turn ukisikia mtu anasema thou 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 mama mahali mtu akasema 100 100 and they were like very nice trench coats nikajua ni 100 when i got there akasema akisema 100 100 na maanisha ni you know the nairobi hawkers 100 100 i went and they were very nice you live so kwanza nairobi hawkers have learned that art of saying 100 100 wewe ukataka mpaka mpaka waseme 100 ya ukweli ndio usimame na msimange ndio usimame for me for me it's important to use creative free makeup <laughs> yeah It's very yeah, important makeup, but i feel like makeup really makeup has effect mm. later even 20 10 years from now i feel like they, we're going to have issues eli lukani says they wanted the seller more than the product <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. on on Nancy Magen's comment reader I, i have a friend who used knockoff lipstick for a long time and once you do that mm-hmm. for like for a long time your lips turn dark like they turn oh dark yeah because of yeah. of the of, yeah. poor quality lipstick and now okay. you have to be okay. dependent like i think these products they make you dependent on them like once you start yeah. you just cannot stop because this is an energy kiwasen situation so that you buy the next batch so that you buy the next batch and yeah that is how we are and that's how we are surviving with makeup oh guys we are out of time so your part in short takadali norin as we finish this remember guys it's gas talk and you can only cut this Again, kisha maliza if you go and rewatch and leave a comment there on the Art in Heart official. Nori. 
what's your pattern shot when it comes to makeup in anini ni makeup eh kuna vile mhm ni makeup in anini so uh my mm-hmm. pattern shot tonight also well thanks guys for joining us and uh, it's really nice when we come here and we see people commenting and interacting with us you know and uh, what i can say right now is um so far if you have gotten an opportunity to learn today about makeup about our own experiences that's well okay but if you haven't you can always you can always you can always learn something about your skin and how to maintain your skin if i was given an opportunity of not applying makeup if i had the best skin trust to me singe kwa na apply makeup you know and for mm-hmm. those people with a uh, oily skin like myself if you want to apply makeup on an oily skin i would recommend that please start by dusting your face first then apply your foundation it has okay. we a story of sweat you not sweat too much it really minimizes on mm-hmm. sweating so try that then utatuambia how it goes thank you for watching. all right hey great nyanduko <laughs> una smile too so you fools are going to draw eyebrows vitu tunachora huko nje sifurahi well um just just uh what works for me is not what works for you just yes, find what yeah. works for you stick to it and please invest in your makeup buy products that is friendly to your skin good night oh. bless amazing all right and this is what i would say if you do your math you realize that the more you buy the 300 the 100 that is actually counterfeit if you do the math and buy the 25 that runs for one year is actually affordable so do your math so you can know what to invest in because good makeup will definitely save your skin we don't want to have skin that are looking terrible in 10 5 3 years to come anyway thank you so much guys for joining us remember this gas talk every single wednesday 9:30 pm the acting hat official tomorrow Thursday. Shinda za watajiri join me and Eli Lukiani as we bring you debt management because guess what we want to help you guys manage your debt it's, it's a very serious area on Friday creative space and Saturday family edition and every single Sunday again is or odd get to listen to people's stories get inspired and learn something from that thank you so much see you tomorrow kwa shida za matajiri bye am i the person supposed to be looking for you mhm you, you need to talk you know unampigia simu leo mhm asiki simu kesho hashiki simu ama labda akishika mnaongea kidogo anakuambia oh ngoja mm-hmm. nifanye nini ni receive simu ya mtu mwingine unaona kama tu we, 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 we agreed on the projects i have and i have my own money i have no problem yeye ku, kuchipin whatever he has kama anataka si ati i'm forcing him to do that coming from uh, from africa into europe people look at you as a as a no, not well formed for example uh taking a dessert taking a, a appetizers and then taking the main main course you see but uh, what wengi sana ni hiyo nakwambia they really fake like okay see at the picture on a plate but picture onaonekana wako poa so demand home itakuwa too high life beyond borders you know against the odds